we go. What is new YouTube? It's Moose here, bringing you guys a, another Infinite Warfare video, and today we are going to discuss the different editions of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and which one is the best for you. There are actually quite a few editions that you can get and you can pre-order for Infinite Warfare right now. Now, I've already touched on these editions in a previous video, but I want to go over them again and really see which one is the best one. So to start it off, you can just buy the regular Call of Duty Infinite Warfare for 60 bucks. That's the first option. If you don't want COD 4 Remastered, you can just get Infinite Warfare. 60 bucks, boom, done. Then the next kind of step up is the Legacy Edition, or you can buy the Digital Legacy Edition, which is no discs, you just download it onto your console. And that includes both Call of Duty Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered, and that is 80 bucks. And personally, I think this is a better deal already than just the game, because you're getting Call of Duty 4 Remastered, which is like a whole other game in itself. I mean, it's amazing. If you've never played COD 4, you need to get this. And that's only for an extra $20. So I think this is a better deal than just getting Infinite Warfare. And now the next step up is only digital. There is not just a hard copy of this. This is only digital, and it's the Digital Deluxe Edition. And this includes Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Remastered, and the Season Pass. And this does come out to $100, but you're saving a ton of money, and I think this is the best deal. Now, obviously, if you're a very, very casual Call of Duty player, this may not be the best option for you. Maybe you should go down to the Legacy Edition. But if you play Call of Duty a good amount and you call yourself a COD player, I think the Digital Deluxe Edition is the way to go. And that's because you're getting Infinite Warfare, which is a $60 value, and Modern Warfare Remastered, which is a $20 value, but I feel like it's actually worth more than that. And you're getting the Season Pass, which I believe is somewhere in between like a $40 or a $50 value. So if you add all that up, that's going to be around somewhere between $120, $130, $140, bucks, depending on how you value all those but the digital deluxe edition is only a hundred dollars so you're definitely saving money in the long run and the final edition is the legacy pro edition this is like the tier one elite thing like if you're just insane about call of duty you need everything this is what you're gonna get and i believe it's only sold at gamestop or at least that's what i've heard and it comes with infinite warfare modern warfare remastered the season pass a collectible steelbook i don't really know what that is the official game soundtrack which to me doesn't seem very appealing and then additional in-game digital items which we don't really know what that is but it's probably like a camo maybe a calling card, a title, whatever they call them in Infinite Warfare. And that's selling for 120 bucks. So if you're looking from the Deluxe Edition to the Legacy Pro Edition, you're spending an extra 20 bucks for a Steelbook, game soundtrack, and additional digital items. I don't think it's worth it. I think that 20 bucks there is kind of wasted on those items, but hey, that's up to you. So all in all, from what I see, I think the Digital Deluxe Edition is probably what I'm gonna go for. It seems like the best bet with Infinite Warfare Modern Warfare Remastered and the Season Pass for 100 bucks. It's obviously an expensive game this year, but you're getting two CODs and the Season Pass. I think it's worth it. I think that's the best bet. But it is different for every player and every person, so hopefully I gave you an idea of what every edition is. So you can make your own decision, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If it did help you out, please click that like button down below. That does help me out a ton. Sub if you have not already. We have been gaining a ton of subs lately. Thank you guys so much for that. Also, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys later.